TV viewers, I'm here with Gabby, Paddy and James from Ghostwood. How are you doing today, guys? Good, good. Real good. You've been off the radar for a bit recently. What have you been up to? We've been kind of hibernating and writing, like, a lot. And we last year we went to, we were in LA for a bit and we were also in London for a month just meeting up with producers and sort of just talking about the kind of album that we want to make and all that sort of stuff. How do you think the music scene out there compares to in Sydney? When we lived there about a year or so ago, there weren't actually all that many bands I liked really. There were a few here and there, like Hate Rock was cool. There were more, yeah, but it, was, it seemed to be a lot more of that sort of, that was like a, you know, a, a girl sort of singer sort of thing, not much of any bands. The pop thing has just to come back. gotten so big. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's swollen to this like juggernaut thing but I think it's great it, like I'm a tragic fan of pop music do you take any pop influences into your music do you think I like listening to pop music because there's like there's two facets to it it's kind of like sort of one the melodies are just so you know they're really catchy and all that sort of thing but it's also sort of like know your enemy so I do like some pop artists I think Katy Perry's pretty good <laughs> <laughs> she's got like yeah. these like one word phrases and stuff in her lyrics which oh, I just think are really really good and then I think you know, if you can get one line that means something to people, that's a good thing. Your first EP, I've heard that it's based on the game Pokemon. <laughs> no, yes. it's not true. It's not the whole, it's not actually not true. The There's two songs on there, and one of them is called Red Version, and one's called Blue Version. And when we were younger, we all used to play like like I think everybody our age did. I liked the idea that they just, they kind of categorised the, the games just with like colours, like blue, red, yellow, green. And that was just the same sort of idea. So what would you do if my level 44 chart is I'd use flamethrower on your Clefairy? Or, well, to be perfectly honest, I'm pretty sure... I'd use a red candy sheet. Wait, no, Clefairy... <laughs> Clefairy has the move Reflect, I'm pretty sure, because it's a psychic Pokemon. So I would probably just use Reflect, in which case the flamethrower would go back on your Charizard and you'd cop it. And fire is actually good against fire. So, oh god. <laughs> right, well you all got it wrong because it's a trick question because Charizard doesn't learn flamethrower to love till level 46. Actually, ouch. <laughs> you got burned by my flamethrower. <laughs> Two new songs come out, um, Cutlass and Sunset Mirage. Is that a sign of the times? Is there going to be more like that? Sunset Mirage was something that we worked on last year, Cutlass as well. Another song, Mr. Regret, which we're sort of quite happy about. And then there's about 30 or 40 others, and we're just going to keep trying them and sort of refining them down. There's so many bands that we love, and there's so many bands sort of, of now, of like a few decades beforehand, that we really like. But one thing that a lot of those bands aren't, weren't capable of doing in some ways or not is like being able to kind of condense songs to like three and a half minutes. And that was what we wanted to do, but not lose the integrity of what the song sounded like. You know, we still wanted to use, you know, overdriven guitars and all that sort of stuff and really loud, you know, as opposed to like the verve where you've got these songs that are like you know, five, six minutes and all that sort of thing. We wanted to try and bring it down yeah compact yeah compact <laughs> instead of put our own like twist. a pop song well <laughs> in a way in some ways what are your plans for 2011 will we see the album this year yeah i think so i, I think so. so not that it's taken a while but i think yeah. i think this year we'll be ready like to actually put something out and be wanting to play it for the next year or two years or whatever. So you guys were with Modular, mm -hmm. are, are you still with them or? No, that was the one EP deal when we started out and they were cool, like, they were a good, they were a good label. A lot of people there and we're still like friendly with them and everything. Yeah. So who are you with at the moment? Uh, we're doing everything independently. Yeah. 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 So it's kind of what we're doing right now. Last year we are kind of thinking you know, what we want to do with that and we thought our manager was like, you know, you guys can just do it like 
all by mm. yourselves. So that's what we've been doing pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, so it's all gone well. Okay, well, thanks, guys. We've been here with Gabby, Paddy, and James from Ghostwood. Um, bye bye, music TV viewers. Bye. Thanks. Bye. bye. bye.